everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Fallout 76. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Now, it doesn't mean a lot to me, but it really does help motivate me to keep moving forward, and it lets me know what kind of content you all want to see. There's going to be more of Fallout 76 here on Fallout Friday on the channel. If you'd like to see more of my Fallout videos, though, go ahead and check out the playlist that should be popping up on your screen in just a second. That'll give you all of my Fallout 76 videos, as well as a video that YouTube thinks you'd like. There'll also be a picture of my big dumb head. Click that, and you can subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell, that'll let you know when I have new videos out. And last but not least, if you would like to get a hold of me, you can always do it here on YouTube itself in the comments, or you can do it over on Twitter, at Amber from the Vault, spelt the same way as here. No O in from, no O in the. All right, I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are back in Fallout 76. Now, let me go ahead and uh, look around here. So you can see here on the map, we are headed towards the Fine Next Journal in Sutton. That's where we were headed when we, uh, or I should say, when I ran into this crazy obstacle course that I in absolutely no way was ever going to pass. So I didn't end up passing it. Instead, I just ended up cheating. <laughs> I totally cheated, and I'm okay with admitting that. I may or may not have built a giant, uh, I don't know, I, I just I just built a bunch of stairs and <laughs> ended up making a building, which absolutely worked. You guys probably, I'm assuming you probably saw that if you watched the last installment. Hopefully you're not starting, uh, not from the beginning. Go ahead and start from the beginning if you want to watch the uh, really horrible Fallout 76 journey I've got going on here. Now, uh, there's so many things on my map, uh, just like little things that I can do, and... I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm a little uh, overwhelmed. I just want to go and I want to explore the whole world. So I've had a lot of people ask me how I feel about the game. I might actually do kind of a... I don't know, I might do a video that really like says exactly how I'm feeling. But here's the deal. I really like it. I, I didn't... Uh, I'm not going to say that I didn't want to like it, but I definitely didn't think I would like it. Am I on something? What's holding me back? Here we go. I, I didn't think I would like it. I have not played games on PC for a very long time, though, so I thought, okay, well, you know, I really want to give it a try, and it's the kind of game that I could see me playing with some of my friends who have Xbox, which is why I got the PC version. If you didn't uh, watch the previous vision versions, versions? If you didn't watch the previous videos, I can speak, I swear, and then you probably didn't hear me say that yet, but what I'm trying to do here is just trying to explore it and play it, and I really thought that I would probably be pretty down on it. Uh, I did not pay full price for it. I want to go ahead and come out and say that right away. For all the people who are like, this game is not worth $60, I absolutely agree with you. I do not think it's worth $60 either. Thank God I didn't pay $60 or I would be pretty pissed off. But I'm also not a PvP player. I don't really like playing things that I have to play with other people or that people are even going to be involved in. I tend to like to play games on my own. I like to have that experience on my own. I enjoy the emotional ride of it. Um, I've actually never played Fallout 4, the original game. I definitely hear something. I've never played the actual game on the channel. And, you know, I could have gone back and played it. I've certainly played lots of games that are a little bit on the older side. Ah! I knew something was following me. I never played that on the channel because, for me, Fallout is a, a really personal experience. If there's a Fallout 5, I'll play it on channel. But it just it's one of those personal experiences for me. And going back now and playing it for the channel would honestly... it would It would kind of take away something that that's special to me about Fallout 4 and just you know Fallout 3 and, and New Vegas they were all the same you know they were special to me and I think that a lot of people have kind of that same feeling about Fallout that it's just one of those games it's kind of a, a an emotional moral ride you know you got to figure out what your morality is and you can kind of affect you know the wasteland that you're living in and all these really cool things about the series and this just it takes away all of that you don't have any of that anymore you're no longer going through and trying to affect anything. You know, you're just coming out of the vaults and basically fucking around. And it's, not, again, I don't want to make that sound like that's a bad thing. It's definitely a type of game that a lot of people enjoy. It's just never been anything that I've enjoyed in my life, playing any kind of uh, PvP. So it was really a shock to me that I played it and I liked it. Like, it's just, it's different than I thought it was going to be. It still feels to me like a positive single player experience. I, I know a lot of people, oh, it's stash box, awesome. I know a lot of people, um, I should realize that, I'm in a red rocket, of course it's a stash box. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it because they said, oh, it's so different. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest, yeah, it is really different. But I think that's what kind of makes it cool. I mean, it is different, but I'm still enjoying it even though 
it's different. It, it's it's a different experience, and I think that a lot of people just aren't giving the game quite the chance that it really needs to be given. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not in any way saying, hey, everyone's got to love this game. Absolutely not saying that. But I don't understand all the people who, who super, super, super hate it. I understand if you don't like the game because you don't like the format or you don't like something else, but it's the people who are out there just going, fuck this game, fuck everything about it, I hate it, I hate it, it's horrible. You know, it's... I get it. You don't like the game. That's fine. You don't have to like the game. But that doesn't mean you have to be a total... You know, douchebag about it. So anyway, that is my my two pe my my two my two pieces my two pennies two cents. I can't even speak English. That's my two cents about the game here. Um, that's kind of how I, I I see it. So let's go ahead and look for some stuff. I feel like my voice is ridiculously loud. It may be. I really apologize about that. In fact, you know what? I will save the video in just a second here and actually take a listen to it because it feels way too loud. Uh, I don't know why. It sounds so crazy. And the audio in the game sounds extremely low. I did turn off the radios, but maybe I clicked the wrong button at some point. Here we go. Now I hear something. Huh. There's like a really loud noise in the background, too. It feels like it's... uh. Like, there's almost a rumbling in the background. There's something going on, I think, with my... I've been having issues with the fact that I don't have a good microphone in here. So I apologize about that. Let me go ahead and uh, see what I can do about that. And I'll be back in just a sec. Let me see how this is working. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. We are still on our way into Sutton. I apologize. We are still going after the... Uh, let's see, right here. Oh, there's somebody on top of it, so I probably can't see it. We're looking after that uh, Overseer's Journal now. I, I have to be honest, I can hear a loud buzzing in my ears, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear it too. If you can, I really apologize. I tried to play back a sample video, and I didn't think I could hear it, but honestly, I really can't tell. So I apologize about that. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Um, definitely having some issues here with the game. Now, I, I'm recording on PC, which as many of you know, I am a PS4 player, so this is different for me. I'm not used to doing this, but if you are somebody who normally plays on PC and also records, Please feel free to leave me some comments in the in the comments here. Some comments. <laughs> you leave me some uh, tips in the comments here. Sorry about that. Uh, a couple people have asked what I'm recording with. I am using the Microsoft Game Bar just because it currently uh, is already installed on my computer. It came with it, so I thought, okay, well, I'll try this. And so far, it has been shitty. It's been hell. <laughs> I just I don't know even know what to say. I'm so annoyed trying to record uh, things here on PC. It's amazingly more difficult. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. It's much more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, I really thought that recording on PC would probably be easier, and it really hasn't been. Oh, I want that rug. It really hasn't been. I'm kind of surprised at that. So, you know, it is what it is, though, so nothing I can do. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of reading. You guys know what to do. Pause it. <laughs> I figured I was about to be hit by something, so I was like, I hear footprints, I'm not entirely sure I'm okay with this. Plus, this looked like some kind of compound. There we go. Might as well take the junk these people throw at us. Thank you, thank you. Having more weapons is never a bad thing. Okay, I swear they moved at the last second, but I could be wrong. I'm assuming that's a legendary or something, because that person's got a little king symbol. I guess it could be a queen symbol. I shouldn't be so judgmental. Oy. Okay. Things is getting better. Of course, they said that and somebody started shooting at us. Oh shit, where are they even shooting from? Oh, up there. You're not that high of a level. How on earth are you hitting me and I'm not hitting you? There we go. I love that you can actually hear the shells hitting. Okay. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. I gotta be careful. I got some pretty low health here. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the echo. There's also an echo, though. Let me turn this off. 
As we all know, that has something to do with being stealthy. Yeah, I can pretty much tell I'm in danger. Come on. Just hide here for one second. Oop, wrong button. No! I always hit the wrong button. There we go. I'm really bad at hitting the wrong button. Are they above me? Sounds like they're above me and they're where I'm here. Oop, there they are. There they are. Shit! I can't shoot them through the stairs. Are you kidding me? Man, do I miss my perks right now from Fallout 4. I miss my ricochet. Just for the heck of it. We know someone's about to come after us. I'm trying to listen for him. So anyway, if you have ideas about the sound, if you know what you're doing, if you are an audiophile who knows exactly what to do with the sound here, please let me know. I'm more than happy to know. Also, if you think I should use a different program, I would be willing to take those suggestions as well. Like I said, this was just already on the computer, and I read on a bunch of places. They were like, oh, hey, it actually works pretty well, so I should probably just use that. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just use that, you know? But I'm thinking that maybe... Uh, Maybe we have a problem, and maybe I shouldn't be using this, actually. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, man. I don't really want to mess with this anymore. Any of this right now. I don't know what to do, because I also want to scrap some stuff. Let's do that. That doesn't take long. Okay. This isn't a bad place to hang out, though. We know there's someone else in here, because we have the caution. And that always means that someone else is around. Or something else is around. So we should take a look. There's a red rocket. Oh, wait. Did I see something for a second? Okay. There's a red rocket over there, so... Okay, we need the light. I can't go in here without it. This would be a great place to hunker down. I wonder if you can actually claim this. Let's get around the back real quick. This would not be a bad place to build. But I think you can't build in anything that's already established. I'm not sure what that was. I picked it up and forgot to play it. <laughs> Doesn't that figure? I'll take that. I'll take almost anything you can at me. I did hear someone say that you can fill your stash box. You can overfill it. And as soon as I heard that, that was a little panic inducing. I was like, oh shit. I'm definitely going to fill up my stash box then. I'm going to fill it up fast because I am bad at this. Okay, well, I seem to think we're okay. Everybody, I think we're doing alright. Everything seems good so far. Okay, let me go ahead and look around a little bit more. Let me throw that holotape on, though, so we can go ahead and at least listen to that. Sutton. I, I grew up here. Seems kind of quiet. Lonely now. Well, it ain't as lonely as you think. This place crawls with ferals, and ferals is why we're here, Rook. It's time for some fire fire training. Ferals. Those things give me the willies. All that hissing and rasping and jumping around. But then you remember that they used to be folks like us. Oh no. What are some of them are my relations? Or, I mean, they used to be. Hey! Get your head in the game, Rook. Quit making these things out to be more than they are. We all come from around here. And we all had families and homes that we lost when the bombs fell. Such is just a place airport's home now. Get ready! I'm gonna make some noise and draw them out. Just remember your training and you'll all do fine. No, Lord. Please forgive me if any of these things is a cousin. I love my family, but if any of y'all turn into uh, some kind of creepy monster, sorry, but y'all dead. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna hesitate with that one. All right. Let me throw this stuff on. I can't believe I haven't thrown it on yet. Let's get a nice look at ourselves. Sexy. Alright. Well, I don't see anyone else here. That doesn't mean that there isn't. I just haven't seen anybody yet. 
The Scorch are definitely intense. Like, they are an interesting... They're just an interesting adversary for the game. I I'm so used to fighting raiders in the game. It's weird to me that there are, aren't even raiders. Like, you would think there would at least be raiders or something. The fact that everybody is a Scorched is really interesting to me. Oh, wow. This actually continues for quite a while. Oh, crap. Okay, I could be completely wrong, but I wonder if this is... One of my Twitter buddies, Joe, had posted a photo of the ever-spawning Scorched. And it looks a little bit like that. So I kind of wonder if that was the area that that happened to him in. There we go. That was some pretty bad shooting. I apologize. I made myself look ridiculous. What I might do, that red rocket should have a stash box. At least all the red rockets I've come across so far have had stash boxes. This bird's not going nowhere soon, but I did a full check, and here's what I need to get. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it was just a funny video of them just constantly spawning. I thought that was kind of interesting. There is definitely... So I've heard some people saying, like, this game is infallible. Stop hating on it. Uh, I think that there's a middle there. We should all be in the middle. Yes, it is, is a, it's a fine game. It is fallible. It has things wrong with it, though. So let's be open about that. There are definitely things in this game that could be better. And there are things that could definitely be worse. I like how people are really upset. They're just like, well, it's a Bethesda game. Of course it sucks. Yet somehow they're playing it. <laughs> like, what? Oh... Uh... I, I hate this company, and I'm going to say everything bad about them, but I'm going to play every one of their games just so I can go play and say stuff bad about them. <laughs> like, it's just so pathetic. I'm sorry. Anyway. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -dum. I reckon that... I, I think that that is probably that red rocket probably has a stash box. I was wondering if there was an easier way to get down from here. It doesn't look like it. Sometimes I like kind of cheating on my getting down. Like that. I think everybody probably does that, though. Why on earth would I actually make a real attempt? So obviously I had to switch to the gun. We're getting to areas with higher levels for our enemies. Which is probably fine for most people, but for me... Pretty much means I'm screwed. <laughs> I can't shoot, and I can't hit things melee. That was great. <laughs> that was absolutely wonderful. I still don't understand how VATS works in this. Huh. Oh, you understand what I just did? <laughs> I'm finally level 5, I guess, though. I didn't notice. I must have gotten to level 5. I had not noticed. Okay. I swear this is the same one I was in before. Alright. Alright. So let's go ahead and get rid of our stuff there. What I want to pick up is like weapons and stuff that I might want to turn into something else. Is that it? You guys done? Good. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Alright. I might want to pick up some weapons and stuff just so I can take it with me and break stuff down. Um, let's go ahead and take anything that's... Wait, what am I doing? Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Let's go ahead and take all this junk and then... Let's leave behind the grenades. Not gonna take those. The mines, the cocktails. We'll leave all that stuff here. And then let's see anything else in here. Yep. I'm gonna break down everything that I can just so we can get rid of stuff. Let's go ahead and store all our junk. Okay. And let's see. We're actually really close to where the next journal should be. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to that area though, because I think that it was worth being there. Let's do a little bit of some stuff here. Now, as I said in a previous video, I did a Twitter poll and asked everybody what they would like to actually see in this game, and the answer was everything. <laughs> People voted for everything. So I'm literally just doing, it's, I guess, the equivalent of, of what would be a live stream. Uh, very little editing in here, just doing everything that I would normally be doing. I'm actually showing you the game real time, and I'm doing all the commentary real time, so sometimes 
I might repeat things or say things that are stupid. And usually I cut all that stuff out. <laughs> but I don't have the opportunity to do that now. So I am just being me. Just being who I am. So let's see. This is a little bit heavier. That's why I haven't kept the hatchets. They're a little bit heavier than the machetes. And I just I feel like the machete is worth having. I'm going to get both of the bolt actions. That's not what I clicked. Come on, game. Let's try this again. Um, pipe pistol, pipe pistol, pipe revolver I definitely don't want. Bolt action I don't want. Let's see. That needs to go away and get out of my line of vision. Okay, let's get rid of the throwing knives. I don't really see a purpose for them. Tactical true hunting rifle. Shoots at the... Okay, well... I'm looking at what our different... I'm looking at our calibers right now. Because depending on what it shoots depends on whether I keep it or not. This is kind of nice to have this little area though to do this. Alright, we'll get rid of the chest piece that does practically nothing. We don't need the paramedic jumpsuit. We have two wood legs. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Is there anything else? We can scrap that while we're here. Alright. So let's go ahead and modify some items. Now we should be able to fix some stuff up. So repair. Repair. That would make sense. Why would I have to repair my pit boy? What am I thinking? Okay, let's go ahead and repair our weapons real quick. Wrong button. <laughs> Alright, I guess it wasn't the wrong button. It was the right button. I just wasn't close enough. Okay, let's go ahead and repair these as well. Might as well. We have the option to do them. Okay. So we're carrying quite a few weapons. I'm kind of okay with that, though. I've been carrying a lot of weapons in this game just because I don't necessarily... Actually, let's go back into modify. I don't necessarily trust myself. I'm pretty... I'm pretty bad at uh, running out of ammo. Let's see. I don't think there's anything I can build. Not only do I not have stuff, but just like I don't even think I, I have the ability yet. I'm pretty sure I can't make weapons either. I pressed the wrong button. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't even craft anything at this point. I pressed the wrong buttons like seven times now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Machined guns. Yeah, I mean, you can only basically build what you know. So it's not like I can really do a whole lot here. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue on. Is there anything in that Nuka-Cola machine? No, anything in here? I'm afraid to go in a little bit further. I feel like it's going to close on me. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on Sutton. Alright. So... Into that red rocket. Ooh. There's a door open over here. This must be with the overseer. Okay, this is where we were before when I realized I was having problems with my game and I quit. This was the building we were in before. So I wonder if maybe I just didn't go upstairs. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. I'm sorry it's been so long. I... I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but... I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the silver shroud. Dad... You were right about what living underground would really be like. Twenty-five years locked in with the same people was... a challenge. But watching them pair up, get married, have children... Well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Mom were always telling me. Well, since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. Alright, so the old high school, that is further up there by the Morgantown Airport. Perfect. I don't know why that marker's there. I don't remember setting that. Okay. 
So, as we're looking here, I can go ahead and grab some more stuff. Now, one thing I, I will say I'm a little confused about is... So, when I played... So, I normally play on, P, or on uh, PS4, as you all know. I don't know how to assign things here. Ah, oh, okay. That is perfect. That is exactly what I was looking for to be able to assign things here. And on the PS4, everything's a little bit different, so I wasn't sure exactly how I was supposed to do this. I've had a couple people say that I can um, set my... So I can, I can um, set my controller to actually work with the game, and that's great. I, I love the idea of being able to put my controller on the on the computer so I can play with the com with the controller on the computer but the only problem with that is I've also had other people then tell me immediately when I was like oh that's a good idea I'll do that they were like I had other people go no don't do that because you don't have the precise movement and if you're doing something that's PvP you're not going to be able to fight people who are actually on the PC with you and blah, 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 blah. so I don't know what to do anymore guys I'm so confused I don't know what to do so we'll stick with this for now. The reason I was talking about it though is because I realized that my keyboard's complete shit and when I was trying to play and I couldn't jump. I was having trouble with the jumps. I could click jump like four times and I would jump three out of the four times, maybe. And I was having all these problems with it so I finally like posted, hey does anybody know, like what do I need? What, what kind of, anybody know what cheap keyboard I can buy? You know, stuff like that. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't really get any I didn't get anybody telling me what to do. I love the sounds they make. No one told me what to do, so I still don't know what to do. I don't know if there's like a keyboard I should buy or what. Um, I'm gonna be honest. It's not that my keyboard, somebody had said like, oh, you gotta clean your keyboard out. It's not that. My keyboard's cleaned out. I clean it out actually once a month, um, and mo usually once a week. It, the goal is once a month, but I usually end up doing it more than that because I'm very anal <laughs> about things being clean. It's just the kind of person I am. Uh, but it was an $11 keyboard. <laughs> it's for typing. I use it for typing and video editing, and that's it. So I definitely have some issues with uh, keeping my stuff clean. Now I need to level up. If you've ever watched me, you have happens to know I'm pretty bad at leveling things up. Okay, so I've reached level 5. Combat with other players is enabled. Sounds good. I have an open perk pack. Would I like to open it? Let's go ahead and see what we got. Thirst quencher. Licensed plumber. Good doggy. Slow metabolizer. Ooh, what do you call a family of geese crossing the road? Speed bumps. That hurts. <laughs> That's actually really kind of painful. Okay, so hunger and thirst grow 40% more slowly when in camp or in a team workshop. Um, the other option here is when you're on a team game, 5% more XP. I, yeah. You have to go with that one. I don't have a team. I'm still not sure I'm going to be able to get a team. Okay, let's try intelligence. What do we got here? Stim packs are 15% more, gain one hacking skill, and terminal lockout time is reduced. Mm, those are both good. I guess we'll go with hacker. I haven't been able to hack into anything yet, so that's probably a good idea. Let's go with agility. So we've got action girl. Action points regenerate faster. Falling below 20% health will automatically use a stim pack. Oh, that is so nice. Tw every 20 seconds. Writing speed is increased by 10% when you have a pistol equipped and moving target. Born Survivor is me. I need that. <laughs> That's what I need. Auto stim packs, one of my favorite things. All right, so let's see. Eating dog food is now three times as beneficial. Don't have that. I would like that one. Let's see. We'll put Happy Camper in there. Your pipe weapons break 30% more slowly. We'll put Born Survivor on there. Let's see. You can't put them all, though, right? Yeah, I can't put them all. Okay. So there we go. That should be... Yes, we've done all of our updates. Okay, so we need to actually head north. That's right. I still can't unlock safes. Even if I could, I don't have a bobby pin, I don't think. I still haven't picked up any bobby pins, believe it or not. I like in Fallout 4, I couldn't get the bobby pins to go away. I feel like that was all I had. I had thousands of them. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Fallout 76. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Now, it doesn't mean a lot to me, but it really does help motivate me to keep moving forward, and it lets me know what kind of content you all want to see. There's going to be more of Fallout 76 here on Fallout Friday on the channel. If you'd like to see more of my Fallout videos, though, go ahead and check out the playlist that should be popping up on your screen in just a second. That'll give you all of my Fallout 76 videos, as well as a video that YouTube thinks you'd like. There'll also be a picture of my big dumb head. Click that, and you can subscribe to the channel. 
Click the little bell that'll let you know when I have new videos out. And last but not least, if you would like to get a hold of me, you can always do it here on YouTube itself in the comments, or you can do it over on Twitter at Amber from the Vault, spelt the same way as here. No O in from, no O in the. All right, I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you all in the next one.